bang. I do love that noise. That's great noise. Jessica, what's taking you? Hurry up. She's right there. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Hold it right there. She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. Self-destruct sequence initiated. All it appears my bright young assistant has made the last move. Now, have I made things clear to you? Jessica! I'm sorry, Parker. See you guys. So there you go, that's our build up to episode 11, Revelations! It's Resident Evil Revelations, Revelations! Oh my god, Revelation Inception right here. Or Revelation? I don't know, fuck it. So yeah, there you go, that's where we're up to. Rip Parker, who unfortunately perished by falling into a big vat of fire. That was sad. But anyway, we shall avenge him by fighting this big zombie whale, because that's what you do in Resident Evil. This is Hatfrit. Do you read? Extraction is not possible at this time. I'll execute a holding pattern. Patrick, out. I thought he was the one that got crushed by the uh, tentacle. What have they created? We can do this, Chris. So it's either going to be like a straight up boss fight for like a whole section, or it's going to be like a clever. Okay, we only have five minutes. Aim for the parasite. Get the target. You mean that big ass thing is being controlled by a parasite? God damn. Oh. Camera on this thing is kind of horrible. How are you gonna know? You know you can't have all four tentacles at once. It's stupid. Can we have some extra like health stuff as well? That's nice. It's a rocket launcher, of course Fire it is. Kill. Oh, we we're going to aim at its arms. That was probably what we were meant to do, rather than just its face, which has. I dropped off some ammo for you. Help! You know, we're just going to like take out a tentacle with each bazooka. Where is our thing? Oh. Where? There it sounds. And we missed again. Give me some more ammo, hat trick. Thank you. There it is. Okay, this is going shittily. Like I expected. Like you knew it would if uh, you've been watching this for any amount of time. There we go. We got one. One shot out of three. That's not bad. Okay, that was random. And we've run out of bullets for that, so we're on to our shotgun, which I'm pretty sure isn't going to reach. Oh, he dropped off a lot of ammo for us. Good. We still have the. Uh... Okay, why have we why have we lost it?
Come on. Shit. Keep running, don't even look. Give me some more ammo, hat trick. We'll be fine, maybe. We're running out of time though. I need to get these uh, shots more on point. I had it, that was it. I just need to, oh fuck. There we go. We're gonna die though, we only have 50 seconds. I dropped off some ammo for you! Okay, that was it. That was the last chance we had to do it. We didn't. I dropped off some ammo for you. Okay. Unless we can squeeze it in. Where the fuck's its arms? Come on. Come on. Is that it? We're gonna pl explode. What's happening? Where's the ladder? Oh my god! Guys! That's incredible! Many bogeys. Okay, fine. Hold on to your seats. Because you could like shoot its holes and I would damage it. Wow, it's got a lot of tentacles. Careful. Watch it. Right, yeah, I need to watch my overheating. Because I was pretty bad with that last time too. It's like it's dead, but its tentacles are still alive. Maybe that's the case. You know, it's saying it's like a parasite, maybe. Come on. Oh shit. What is going oh my god. This is making me seasick. Two 
two seconds, dude. I can't believe that. I right, hopefully you can think by the time these ones come. Come on. Cool down. There we go. It's got like a gazillion arms. Ah, now they're all coming up. Oh my god. I don't really have a technique, I'm just kind of like shooting at whatever the fuck I can see. Did we kill it? No, it'll lift its head up and I'll try and... Oh no, so it's coming out the top of it. So it's maybe like a whale, but it doesn't have a, a blowhole. This is pretty cool actually. This is very House of Dead. I've been saying like a lot of it's when we are House of Dead. Like this bit. So House of Dead. No! 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 I had it! God damn. So remember to press A? No! We've got to do all the arms again! Oh no! I'm sad. Okay, so you join me back where we kind of left off last time. Hopefully this time I don't completely fuck it up, but knowing me, I probably will. Also, why didn't he just like give it to us earlier? Do you know what I mean? That's all she wrote for the Zenobia. Yeah, fuck that shit. It's me. What's happening? On our way out. We lost Parker. Jessica took the whole ship down. The FBC? Well, Morgan. He was one step ahead of us the whole way. Yes, I see. I hate to think this could all be a mistake. My mistake. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. All right. It all started one year ago. Right there, Terra Grecia. Okay, so I'm guessing we'll have some sort of Terra Grecia flashback here. So there you go. That was the, uh, the big fuck-off thingy fight with balls. So let's carry on and go straight into part three of chapter 11, Revelations. Here we go. Okay, so we're back with uh, Parker and Jessica, and it was actually like episode three that we were with this these guys the first time. Right, we should get to the command room. It was actually one of like the funnest bits that we had. Oh, hello. There's hunters here too. We have to hurry. Your HQ is done for. And we're out of bullets. And great. Jessica, what's taking you? Hurry up! Move your fat ass. I didn't mean it. It's very nice. Commissioner Lansdale was right. Yeah. So nice, it disappears when you look at it. The for an expansion of the FBC's purview. This is just the kind of thing he was warning the world about. And this incident will bring the crisis to the limelight. It could be good PR, really. Yeah. Maybe the international community will finally get the message. The FBC has a lot of growing to do. Damn! Damn these things! 
That guy's so clear. Damn, damn these things. Raymond! Just Raymond again. A ginger boy. Thank you, just because you actually saved me. Saved my butt right in the last second. I think that's the last of them. Can I talk to him? It's okay, I'll be fine. We know, we'll see you in like however many years. You're hurt bad. Don't try to act tough. Alright, somebody lend him a shoulder. Parker? HQ has told you to leave. But I can still fight. You're not convincing me. Come on, grab on. We can't pull out yet. There are civilians out there. We have to do something. Heavily outnumbered. We have to regroup. Well, this is automatically not going to be as fun because we don't have the ability to just like run around. How did they pull this off with just a few dozen men? Who armed them? The BOWs. <laughs> These terrorists must be brought to justice. Blast it. Check these are the lockers that we didn't get to do. Slowly, slowly. Come on, one thing. Give me one thing. Fuck's sake. Fuck you. Boo. Oh, can we read this? No. Alrighty then. He's got more ammo. See, this just brings like the whole thing to a halt. Like you can see it fucking waiting. Damn. More of them. It's all right. Come on then. I can you some time. Go on without me. You're too young to play hero. Learn some strikes before you get yourself killed. There you go. See, like, it's just like nowhere near as fun, except for just like lumber this fucker around. Oh, that was my fault. Missed him. Oh no, now he has to reload shit. Cool. We almost took two hits, so that would have been disaster. Anything around the back? No, it's just a. Oh, there's a. Is that a door? Might be some health stuff, etc. Oh, we're basically going the same way we did, uh... But in reverse, like, as in the first mission. I'm pretty sure we had this room in the first one. Unless it's just, like, a, an office building, so all rooms look the same, but... Is that more? Here we go, we can interact with this. The FBC's charter, the Federal Bioterrorism Commission. It was founded by the US government to be the enforcing agency of the guidelines set forth in the National Species Protection Act. This document outlines FBC's charter. The FBC is charged with protecting the United States and her interests from biological threats. Our organization will work with other countries and their respective wildlife protection organs. Organs. As such, we are tasked with ensuring the biological safety of the public. The duties of the FBC include research, training, and support of the biological community. Policies will be fomented on a needs-only basis with any additional budget expenditures and extraordinary activities being approved by plenary session of the wildlife protection committee bloody bloody blah fbc chairs and final overseer of the napc all members of the napc are entitled to request help from the chair including secretaries of state and defense and the director of national intelligence however the chair has final authority on all matters of national biological security or safety i don't know who cares so, go back along here and right, I think, into room M31, as slowly as possible, that's the way I like it. 
fucking hell, this is like a drag, this... No pun intended, because we were dragging him along, but... Not good. You're losing blood. It's too dangerous to move it. He needs immediate first aid. We yeah, had the first one so fun and just run around, do what we wanted, and then this one's like so slow and. Yeah. We should be okay here. Yes, come down, come down, come on. The med unit's on the fourth floor. We might find something to bandage him up. We'll be back, cadet. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so okay. what we can do is we can go and have All a look right, at all those things. I think I saw a plant, and I did through the window. The tourniquet. Oh yeah, that's something you do with bandaging. Pretty sure. Uh, so where do we where do we go? <laughs> Shit! I'm no use to anyone. <laughs> okay, so we just look at the thing, and our objective is the orange bit. So I think we have to go around the long way. Back to this main room here. So Parker, it's nothing new, but aren't you a little hard on the new guy? You mean Raymond? The only way those guys will grow up is with a little towel snap. <sighs> okay, fine. Guys and your little games. Okay, so we didn't get to read this before. Daily Courier, Article 1. A beast slouches towards Europe to be born, and that beast is the FBC. Blah, 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 blah. If you want to read this in full, you can pause it and have a look. FBC is taking complete control of the biohazard outbreak in Terra Grigia. Is an Aquapolis. I love that word. That's one of my favorite words. Aquapolis. Aquapolis. Aqua. Aquapolis. 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 Aquapolis or Aquapolis? Aquapolis sounds cooler. That was developed jointly by the US and the European teams to research and develop alternate energy. We wanted to halt climate change and develop energy sources for Africa. So it's put in the Mediterranean. And this attack has put that, the kibosh on that. Form the expects purpose of dealing with threats posed by bioterrorism. The quack squad of soldiers on permanent standby, and by that measure, they have the most expansive charter of any organization in Europe. They have the blessing of the US to take charge and control the situation. That's how they're in charge of Terra Grigia. Press Lansdale to respect their rights in this matter, and that they were able to convince him to bring Commander Clive R. O'Brien of the BSAA, a well respected international civilian group. The problem, however, is even though O'Brien himself is a terrorism expert, he has virtually no support staff, which limits the scope of actions he can take. While the story and tragedy is still unfolding, it would seem that FBC is in ignorant of the extent of the suffering in Terra Grigia, whether Lansdale has the ability and the intelligence to handle this attack without becoming a Yeetsian beast also remains to be seen. So uh, hit me up with what a Yeetsian beast is. Ah, maybe that was it. Maybe it's because it's on the floor above, maybe? Is this the way we came? I have no idea. Oh no, stairs. We need stairs, don't we? Because we're only going up to the fourth floor. And that looked like another plant, but is it a house plant or it's... No, it's a health plant and we might need it because here he comes. Fuck. Thank you, Jessica. Good. Okay, good. Now we have like full on health stocks. Can we go up a bit more? This way. We can, but we probably won't be able to get in there because I remember trying to do that last time. So it was like a banging, banging door and we, we couldn't really do anything with it. This is like, looks like a kind of nightclub floor. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, no, it's not. It's not even like we can dodge, like crouch them, so they're just going to see us. Here. 
Is that fucker at the back just doing your shit? How come these enemies die so easy compared to like the ones that we had in that ship? Could we have had them enemies instead? I like these enemies, they're cool. Machine gun, do we have a machine gun? We do have a machine gun. Oh yeah, but we didn't have any uh, things for it. I remember that now. Wow, we're getting loads of machine gun. And check in here. Oh, even more. And yeah, we're pushing our electric phone. Picked up the tourniquet. Here we are. Just what I needed. This should do for the meantime. Tend to Raymond. Oh, we missed this on the way through. Anything else? No. God, more hunters. If you can hear me, get back here now. Raymond's in trouble. Okay, we're coming. We have to go back. I knew that rookie would be a pain in the ass. Don't take it out on him. It's not his fault. Because he's ginger, isn't it? Okay. Is he just a shadowy figure? Manipulating events from offstage, or is he a hero leading the charge against bioterrorism? This is who commands the general. Anyone who has heard General Morgan Lansdale will give a speech will be immediately struck by his intelligence and keen insight. That charisma that charms his audience has served him well in the cloak and dagger world of international espionage he occupied for many years, so he was the original James Bond. He was able to charm Congress into expanding the charter of his group to find and deal with bioterrorist threats, which brings us to today. Lansdale not only commands the FBC, but also the F SPC. He refuses to give up either of these posts. Lansdale created the FBC to handle bioterrorism. The organization is a major player on the international stage of public safety and animal welfare. And that's thanks to Lansdale. But the question remains, is he a hero or a monster? Only time will tell. Well, I guess now we know he's a monster. Yeah. I heard smashing. Can we go up? I want to see if there's anything up here. Like an Easter egg. Oh, hello. No, but we do have a health thing. And we got some handgun bullets, so I guess it wasn't in vain. So I think we're going back down to three, aren't we? Yes, yes indeedy. Blah, 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 blah. So that's four, now we're on to three. Ah, platform. Three quarters. There you go. Whoa, hello. Love this gun. See, that plant would have come in useful now. I do like how the, the colour of the reticle changes for if you've already beat them. That's like a really cool, helpful feature, so you're not just like pumping uh, your... I don't think I'm going to go that way. So you're not just like pumping your ammunition wastefully into the floor when a, um, an enemy's already dead. How the hell do we get to him? Is it through that? Is it through here? Yeah, okay. Damn, I'm surrounded. I don't know if I can... Listen well, we know you make it because you're in Revelations. Oh, fuck, that was cool. I order you to stay alive. You're coming. Oh, that's cool. They just keep coming! I'm fine, but they might... Hey, there's our food there. Save the fight to us. We'll show you how it's done. Hiya! Four on three. Okay, that should be enough, All right. right? Safe and sound. Yeah, safe and sound. Spick and span. Yeah, our little cadet, our little brownie girl. How bad are you hurt? 
A little girl scout. All right, cadet. Now you owe me one. Hey, I get it. You want justice served. No more heroics. End up getting the whole unit killed. Yeah. Welcome to the real world. Yes, sir. Okay. That should ease the pain. I should be able to walk. Then follow us. The elevator to the command room is right there. Ah, okay, we're gonna keep going. I thought that might have been it. That would have been like a pretty soppy end to the penultimate episode. I think you can move, can I? I can fend off He's anything fine. that comes our way. That was my fault. I should have been shooting him rather than trying to collect that shit. But now he's dead, so who cares? Got this crate. Boom. Bing. I do love that noise. That's a great noise. Jessica, what's taking you? Hurry up. She's right there. Something is off. What now? Think about it. The delivery and dispatchment of these POWs. It's too professional. And how did they manage to evade the FBC's vast intelligence network? It just doesn't add up. Unless somebody wanted this to happen. Cadets, you're stepping out of bounds. We're not here to investigate this thing. We're here to resolve it. But everything I've said, it's sound. Ah. Good, good. Let's reload this while we can. I like how it does the thing out of uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, where you can, um, like, it gives you as many bullets as there are, but, like, leaves the rest of them there. Because there's some games where if you, uh... Just keep our cadet alive. I know you're hurt, but try to keep up, cadet. Because there's some games where you, like, don't have enough, but it'll still, like, disappear so that you can't use it anymore. Hi. Yeah. I like doing that. It's very fun. Why are they so nice with like health and stuff here? Whereas on the ship they were like skint little bastards. I don't know. Uh, are we gonna go up here? So basically, they only like designed one bit. And they were like, oh, we love this bit so much that we'll use it in the third episode and in the 11th. We'll take care of this. Cadet, you find shelter oh, shit. in the command room. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Swap guns. God damn it. Oh, shit. Look at that. Backlog. At least they're queuing up. They must be British hunters. So there you go. Now we know hunters are British. Interesting. Why did it just randomly go over there, though? Here we, go. Here we go, guys. Yes, I understand, and I can hear you just fine. That is simply splendid news. Everything is in 
perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration on the Queen Dido, Norman. Morgan, you intended for the virus to break out on our ship? Well, we've certainly been had. I'm not done yet. You still have an important purpose. The ship serves as a controlled environment, and the data on your mutation will serve a venerable purpose. The boldness of your self-absorbed ambitions is impressive. I am always disgusted by what you Americans can dream up. I will take that as a compliment. We knew that you could end up being a liability. So we've kept video records of all of our interactions. If they go public, your life is finished. You may do as you please. Use of the satellite has been approved. The new virus will be completely eradicated. You bastard! <laughs> Full soon shall thou be where thine eye shall answer make to thee of this, seeing the cause which raineth down the blast. Was live. <coughs> oh, could you? Jessica has escaped. <coughs> we were so close. Hey, I'm sorry, Raymond. <coughs> you were right all along. <coughs> Thank God somebody was on top of things. Don't be so hard on yourself, Parker. Now it's my turn to save you. Come on, we're getting out of here. That's the spirit cadet. Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed, so we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout, and the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan? But sir, couldn't you have at least told us? I couldn't risk it. Not with a mole inside the BSAA. My apologies. All that work both the Zenobia and the Samiramis. Yeah, I know. But I haven't given up yet. Keith and Quint, they've left us with an ace in the hole. The data analysis they sent us, the results are in. Well, what were they? We assume Veltro made use of two sister ships in the Terragrigia panic. But there was a third. The final queen. Dun, dun, dun. How did the, the thing from Quint and whatever it was called get through to them if uh, it was only 20% done, remember? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. But, uh, I don't know. Well, I, I don't know, do I? Ah, anyway, uh, yeah, there you go. That was episode 11, Revelations. Uh, Draw me next time where we finish it. We put the nail in the coffin that is... Resident Evil Revelations. My second Resident Evil game that I'll have finished, so that's exciting stuff. So yeah, join me for that where we finish this mother. So, thanks for joining me, stay awesome, love you lots, see you next time where we finish it once and for all, this will be the end. Resident Evil Revelations, finished, join me next time. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot guys.